Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Down South. Well, today's guest, guys, is the beautiful Lebum Luli. Um, one thing that we have done as Southern Africans is we don't just move ourselves, we move everything along with us, <laughs> including our music, our everything. We try to make home away from home. And the, my guest today is a music artist who has done just that. So today she's just going to share what she does, what music she, she goes for, and just her experiences over here in the UK regarding her music. Hi, Lebo, welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Do you know what I love? like what i love watching about you is that you can see how you love what you do oh, do you know you. what i mean like thank when you, you perform you know that long to she loves the type of music she's she's chosen to do yeah. and so far i've seen you do house mm -hmm. is that what you yeah that's my main that's uh, your main like especially previously i've considered myself a house worker so okay. yeah that's kind of my main genre and what made what made you choose? I mean, there's a, there are a lot of genres, but yeah. you chose house, which is it's not it's not one of those populated mm -hmm. ones, isn't it? So what yeah. made you choose um, that genre? No, I liked that about it, that it's not like uh, black pop music. Okay. Yeah, it's just like you know, so generic. Um, yeah, there's a there's a certain soul to it yeah. that you can't escape, especially the way that we do it back home, right. you know? Okay. And um, what made me start doing house was, I remember 2010, I went to South Africa for three and a half months for the World Cup. And my uncle owns like, I'm a tavern. Okay. So my uh, my cousins ran, you know, these places and stuff. So there's one particular one that um, was always popping. And on Saturdays when I was home, I would be working there. So, so where is this at home? In because Orange Farm. I'm okay. from I'm from Val. So right. I'm okay. Okay. But, okay. Um, yeah, they they got the they got like a matavan in Orange Farm. All right. Which is not far. So um, <clears throat> so I, I used to I would go and work there and help my cousins out, mm -hmm. and it's just the way that I would see everybody like taking in the music and how they consumed house music in South Africa, right. and it just made me fall in love with it completely. Mm -hmm. And I came back after being home, and I was, I was like, I spoke to one of my friends, was I was like, do, do you know anyone who could um, produce some house tracks for me, and then I'll just lay some vocals onto them? And he kind of introduced me to a few people who I could work with. Okay. And um, yeah, he introduced me to DJ Toots and Manchester, and it just kind of. So it's not it's, wow. So it's not something that Okule Utanga or No, I never even used to listen to house. Really? Before that. I used to just listen to R and B. You don't hip hop. Know. You know, I wasn't too in touch with my South Africanism. I mean I was but I but perhaps not the popular culture in South Africa. That's strange, because honestly, like saying. I'm saying when I now when I'm watching it's like <laughs> <laughs> you can see that Longi is doing something that she loves and it makes it look so beautiful. Yeah. So what, what then wasn't it like a challenge? Like okay, because obviously it's something a kaya that can mm -hmm. easily blossom and do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But moving it now into Lana where here in the UK, mm -hmm. what what were the challenges that you were facing with it? You know, at that time it was kind of trying to find a sound that um, is South African but can kind of get into the European market, right? I get you. You know, so something that they could understand, regardless of any language barriers, right? Because I mix languages when I sing, when I sing in Zulu, when I sing in English. You know, I can sing in Swahili as well. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was just kind of trying to find beats that will still be enjoyed back home, but Europeans can also kind of listen to it and be like, yeah, we can vibe to this. You know, so that was. The first challenge back then. I don't think it would be so much right now. Right because now, because house is so trendy, isn't it? Exactly. Like, like, you know, so. And and apart from that, I feel like house is is not necessary. It's everyone loves it. Do you know what yeah, I mean? It's that sort yeah, of. Yeah. But the the fact that you said that you mix your sound and I mean your languages and it mm -hmm. just brings some sort of yeah. versatile yeah, yeah. feeling to it, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what I've always wanted to. Yeah, I always wanted to like kind of have my own kind of uniqueness and stick to to my guns and stick to what I love and how I love doing it. You know, yeah. 
because I'm, I'm not doing it for popularity, I'm not doing it for fame or anything like that. You're you doing know? it because you love them. I do it because I love you. You can tell. Yeah, so, as so. I said, you can tell because even when I watch your YouTube vlogs, because mm -hmm. that's something you do on your side, yeah. like your intro music, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's you. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's what you do. And I, I love that trend and it, it keeps that signature feel mm -hmm. to who you are. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So tell me, you said you, you decided to take it on in 2010 when you went back home. Mm -hmm. So you've been here since? <laughs> I've been here since 2002. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. So this is home for you. <laughs> you know, it's been sixteen years or whatever, and there's, there isn't a place here where I feel at home. So it's because you said. I mean, you said in one of your vlogs <laughs> that you go home every December. <laughs> yeah, fail. Oh wow! There's one December where I couldn't go, but I had gone in August anyway, so it was pretty bad. Yeah. But it was miserable for me. <laughs> so, so it'll be perfect. So, so you, where would you say that then you you want to take your music further? Have you decided? Um, are you here? Are you? You know, I feel like sometimes we can be, we have a one foot there and then another exactly, foot there yeah, and we're not really, really exactly. Yeah, well, it's difficult. That's a difficult question because, again, right now, as an artist, because sometimes with house, you, as a vocalist, you're kind of in the background. You're just another instrument That's true. on the song. That's so true. because of that, I'm kind of broadening what I do music wise. So I okay. because I, I do love soul and, and how my voice comes off when I do soul. Right. And I do like R and B kind of you know like a different type of feel. Not like the not like normal R and B. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Kind of a little bit different with slight elements of house and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of broadening my like my music into like that type of that type of sound and I'll be recording new stuff okay. this year. And yeah, trying to see how that how that goes. And then with that, I think that I don't know. I think in terms of where 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 am I taking my music? Is it in South Africa? Is it in England? Mm -hmm. I think I'll just see where it goes. I'm not limiting myself or putting myself in a box. I like that. Way. I like that. I mean, that's that's one of the reasons why we have this platform. Mm -hmm. Obviously. You, you seen here and you seen back there. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So we she could be anywhere, guys. Wherever you want her, she'll be there. Essa, you want her, she'll be there. Okay. Zambia, Zimbabwe, anywhere in <laughs> Southern Africa. Exactly. And in the UK, yeah. she'll be here. So yeah, yeah no idea. Great to literally be travel across Africa with music. Great. So definitely, definitely. Yeah. That yeah. would be great. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot a lot of artists who are African now are kind of combining anyway. Yeah. Like the borders are kind of being broken it's down true. in terms yeah. of our, our music, how we interact and so, so anywhere yeah. in Africa. Yeah, she's nice. she's willing to be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what has been your your highlight so far in your music journey? Um oh wow. <laughs> There's a few producers whom I've been big fans of for a long time. Okay. As a fan of house music. Okay. And I've got to work with a few of them. Okay. So those have been highlights of mine and I've thought, oh my god. So then then I've but I've still got some others on my list, so I'm like, oh, but you this want to you need to get there. You know, so yeah, <laughs> like so like working with um Rancido, he's a he's based in the Netherlands. Oh, um, wow. Oh. I was a <laughs> massive fan of his and for him to approach me with other things, wow. a track that was really good. Yeah. Um, although the track was released on the Alter Ego because he has another Alter Ego for Alter House. Yeah. And then, but then that was still like good for me. I, I still felt like, okay, this is a good achievement. And um, also to work with African Roots because although African Roots are not as big as I think they should be, they yeah, are absolutely awesome. Ah, amazing. Yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah, so I worked with them, got to go to the studio, with them and was uh, that back home or when yeah, they came here? Okay. Yeah, back home. We went to the studio back home and uh, we, we did a track and you know I love the track. You know I love the track, so it's it, it came out good at the end of it. So it was good, and I hear that it plays every other day or something on my phone. Really? Like, oh, okay, that's, that's oh a, nice. That's a plus. <laughs> yeah, so, nice. Yeah. So when you started, did you ever think that it, you would be this far with it? Did um, you know, did I, you didn't, goals, I didn't. I didn't have a plan. Hey? I just, I just thought, I love music. You know, I want to improve with music. I want to improve a little 
lymphoma. Mm -hmm. Let me at least try to see where it goes, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, even if I'm not releasing anything per se, I'm always doing music. Like it's, but it's you, one of my passions. So, so yeah. you featured in a few I've seen, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And how do how do how what is it? Um, how do you get yourself out there? Do you? Is it a hassle? You know, is it, cause um, I, the music industry is, is really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I just sit back, okay, because I don't I don't know I don't I've never wanted to like be in people's faces. So everyone I've worked with has approached me. So um, I've been blessed in that sense that oh, so somehow yeah. people have found me on social media and said, "Hey, would you like to do a cut?" So I think that's a blessing. So yeah. Okay. So are we are we awaiting? Levels album anytime soon, or you know, what have we got to look forward to? At some point in life, I thought about this and I thought actually it would be good to do an album. Definitely, yeah, I mean, be. if you featured somewhere, yeah. you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it would be. But for now, I'm going to be working on an EP okay. um, and I'll be sort of showing the journey of that on my YouTube channel, Find right. My Grind, yeah, because it, it, it's kind of to showcase music as well, to kind of help. Um, as a platform, because obviously you choose other platforms. Yeah, yeah, it is stuff. definitely. So, yeah, so that channel has always been there to kind of help with that elevation. So I'm gonna kind of try and document working on an EP and yeah. try and see where that goes. And obviously, like you feature in certain places. Like, like I think I saw you in Monati. Yeah. And it wasn't yeah. your first time. I mean, you you feature there quite yeah. a few times. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you do do features around yeah, too yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if people want to book you, where do they get in touch with you? Um, on my social media. Okay. Um, it's probably the easiest. The easiest than that. My, but um, I've got two Instagram channels. Okay. We'll we'll put them out there <laughs> so, anyway, guys, yeah. so you can get yeah. in touch. Yeah. And contact yeah. them. Yeah, that would be the easiest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But two Instagram channels, so you can get me on either one of them. Okay. And um, yeah, then we can talk about something more. On Facebook, but yeah, I'd say Instagram. Okay. So you, you said earlier that um, you're not only sticking to house; you 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 um, exploring. Mm -hmm. So so what 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 are we? What can we look forward to? Give us just a bit of a teaser on which genre you're going to work. But more on, on kind of the alternative kind of soul. Okay. okay. Soul side, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got some girl and some girl folks. So. <laughs> well, we're looking forward. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm not one vocal one to say, <laughs> but um, just run me through a day in the life of Lewi here. In the UK? Yeah. Well, I have a day job as well okay. as doing music, which is why it's so difficult to do, because it's, it's difficult to do music part-time. You have to really, really to fully, yeah. yeah. You know. But so, you will get there. <laughs> you know, that would be a blessing you if I could actually there. just wake up, be in the studio. Exactly, and, and do what you love. That that is yeah. the dream. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I don't care too much for the fame or yeah. being like some mega Beyonce type or stuff. Nah. If I could just live my life and do what I, I love, do. that would be the, that would be the dream. And yeah. you're living though. Yeah, <laughs> living, of course. Yes. Yeah. So your day in the life here yeah, is your day to day job. Yeah, just my day to day. And then job. do you, how often do you go studio and do things like that? Um, as often as I can, okay. with the kind of work I do, okay. so I can finance and I work in different oh. cities at Girl, times. Girl, you're a jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> so with the kind of work oh. I do, I can be anywhere. Okay. So um, the studio I prefer to go to is in Manchester because I like the engineer that I work with there. Right. So if I if I, when I'm in Manchester, it's easier for me to go as often as I can. But again, I don't want to waste studio time. So I've got my own studio set up in the house mm -hmm. where I can kind of lay down demos. And then when I go to the studio, I've got something that's kind of solid and then he directs me here and there. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. As I said, I'm not musical, but <laughs> I've seen I've seen you guys do this um, is it vocal training or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I'm just gonna, we're just going to do something short and you're going to run me <laughs> through. And then guys, we'll see if I've got a voice or not, or maybe not. Oh. Can. <laughs> so run me I'm through one, one. Yeah, go on. Just run me through <laughs> one of your vocal. Is it trainings that you do? And then I'll try to imitate it, yeah. and then we'll see if I've got this. <laughs> so I sometimes do lip rolls. Oh lord, because okay. they kind of use my mouth. Okay. And um, they do kind of they, they warm up your voice quite nicely as well as well as using your mouth. So you're gonna do, so she's gonna <laughs> teach you some lip rolls. <laughs> okay, so let's try. Yeah. Um. 
or I do this with a with somebody, so they they like, you know, be on the piano, show me here to go from. So I will pretend <laughs> we've got. <laughs> like, so I'll do something like. <laughs> You see, I wasn't bored. I wasn't bored to sing. So give me something vocal. Give me something vocal. Do you have another one? Vocal training? Like a one that's got keys and one that's got like yeah. loud and yeah. stuff. Oh god, I can't think off the top of my head for some reason because my favorite thing to do is lip roll. So, lip so what does the lip roll? Easy. So what does it help with? What does it, it, it does help your throat. It does help to warm your throat. And it gives you. You see, the thing about uh, voice warm ups is you always feel like an idiot doing it. Isn't it? I'm like, like, what are we you feel like an idiot, but it brings out the best in your voice. Yeah, it does. It does. It's worth it, that's totally. But yeah. I, I kind of, I, do, I go on YouTube a lot of times, and like I have my favorite ones that I follow, and I find that they are really helpful because okay. it is a muscle when you need to train your voice. So. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, I did tell you that when we come into this part of the world, we move literally everything. We don't just pack our bags, we pack everything. And Lebu packed our music as well and brought it over to the UK to show us what we also can bring. So if you're looking for an artist to come and sing for you, if you're doing anything, she's out there, we'll put her details up. Lebu, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a total pleasure. It's been so don't forget to subscribe and tune into the next episode of Down South. Thank you. Thank you.